Hey guys, welcome to my channel Easy Paintings by Ishita. I welcome you all to painting class number 18. This is targeted for the age group of 5 to 10. So parents, if you are new to my channel, I release painting classes every Saturday for the kids age 5 to 10. So do check out my channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every upload. So today we are going to do a very beautiful fall painting of a squirrel eating acorns. So this is a lovely painting where we will learn how to make the autumn leaf, also how to make a squirrel along with acorns. So before we move into it, let's see what we did last week. So we did a beautiful elephant and our submission includes a painting from Sarthak. You did a great job Sarthak. And before that week we did this pretty pretty parrot and these are our submissions for that week. This is baby Naisha. She did it very nicely. And our next submission is by Sneha. Sneha you did it really well. This is Sneha. And we got another submission from Sarthak. Well done Sarthak. So guys do submit and the details will be provided under the description for you all to send me an email. And now let's go ahead and begin with today's painting of this cute squirrel. Hey kids, so let's begin today's class. Uh, today we will be doing a very pretty fall painting. So you know that autumn is here, fall is here. So all the leaf from all the trees will start to fall right and you can see a very nice color foliage of reds and orange and browns and soon it's going to be very cold and all the trees will be barren right so today I am going to show you how to make a leaf of the plants or the trees along with that I will teach you how to make a very common animal that we see during this time and that is a squirrel. So squirrel is mainly very busy during autumn because it starts to collect all acorns and save them in their burrows for winter because in, during the winter time there is no uh, acorns on the trees because all must have fallen out and there won't be any food for them so they save those food right now for winter in their burrows so let's go ahead and with the help of shapes let's learn how to make the leaves how to make a squirrel and how to make acorns all right so I'm going to teach you a few different leaf shapes before that let's quickly learn our shapes so today we will be using the shapes first I would like you to make a line and let's quickly practice the shapes let's make a circle let's make teardrop so teardrop has one point on the top and a curvy bottom. Uh, let's make V, one more V, one more V. So this is one shape we are going to use today. Uh, we might use a rectangle. Let's see, I'm not sure. We will use lines and yeah that's it these are the pretty much shapes that we will be using today for our drawing okay now i would like you to make a line directly in the center of the page and a line like that so we have made two parts so let's quickly learn the most common shapes of leaf we get to see now so Let's make a leaf which is of this shape, a teardrop shape, right? This is a common leaf, so it just has a line in the center and it branches out like that, correct? So we have done this before as well. So now let's make one more line here. Let me just erase this middle line. Let me just move it a little aside so that we have three parts okay so now let's learn the second type for the second type this is called as a maple leaf 
So there's a tree called a maple tree. Do you remember for pancakes you normally uh, eat or you take the maple syrup along with your pancakes? So this is the maple leaf. So maple leaf has a stem like that and then it goes like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Pretty simple, right? So it has these kind of bony structure in the center. So this is a maple leaf. This is a very common leaf during autumn that falls off the trees. Now let's let's learn an oak tree leaf. In fact, this is an oak tree leaf and let's do a maple. Maple has three different corners. Let me see. Uh, so for the three corners, let's do a V here a V here and a V here and now like that like this like this like this like this like this do you see how it turned out so let me just erase the joints to make it smooth so it's basically three different parts of a leaf do you want me to do this once again? Let's do it once again. So what I did is I made three cones. One, two, three. So there is a gap in between all of these three cones. Now from the first cone I made one, two. Again one, two. Again one, Two. So these connected here, here, here. So it became our leaf. This is a little hard. I'm not sure if you would be able to do it. But just remember that for a maple leaf, there are three different points which connects together. Okay, so these are our three different leaf. So today's drawing, you can do any of the leaf you want. Okay, along with that, let's quickly learn how to make an acorn. For that, let's just reserve a little space here because here we will learn how to make a squirrel. So for the acorn, acorn is very simple. Make two lines like that, connect them, make a U like that, a U shape, the letter U and also a U on the top and a stem here and let's make some lines in the center and let's make some waves like this. That's it. Easy peasy. Acorn is ready. You will find so many acorns on the roads right now, isn't it? So this is our acorn. And now let's go ahead and quickly learn how to make a squirrel. So a squirrel has a head like this. So make a circle. So squirrel's nose is a little ahead of its face. So just go like that and go like this and there's a nose here and the mouth is like this so now let's remove or erase the insides so it will now form a shape of a head and for the eyes a squirrel has a round kind of eyes with two lines in the front and in the back and now it has ears like a rabbit like a bunny so let's remove the light inside so this becomes a squirrel head okay now a squirrel is more like a rabbit so it has a long body right so uh, if you want to make a squirrel that's just here like that so you can make a body like that for the feet it has four feet so two feet will be like this and 
like this and a big tail it has got like this okay so this is a squirrel which is on the which is uh, maybe running around so here let me just erase two lines so that these two feet looks in the front and these two at the back okay is it now clear so this is a squirrel that's running around now for today's picture I'll teach you how to make a sitting squirrel and we will use one of these leaf and then go ahead and make a beautiful painting out of it so kids I hope this was pretty easy because we have le uh, learned leaf before we have also done cat and a lot of animals that has a similar kind of body so I quickly drew it and let's go to the final drawing part, okay? So kids, take a five minutes break and get ready with your final drawing book, your pencil, your eraser, your colors, your paintbrush or crayons, all right? See you soon. Hey kids welcome back I hope you're ready with your drawing book and let's go ahead and quickly make a final painting for that let's begin from the bottom I would like you to make a line like that so just leave a little space and make a line like this okay here let's make a quick tree for this Let's make a line like this. So the tree is starting from here. So this is half of the tree. Now make a branch like this that's coming out. Now make a double line for the branch. Let's go ahead and do one more branch on the top like this okay now make one two three three lines here one line again two line again two line again one line one line here one line here so few lines that we made just make random lines now let's begin to make our leaf so do any of the leaf that you like so do something easy for that let's begin with the first one from the middle one so I'm making the oak leaf which is just like this okay so make some squiggles a cone and squiggles back again squiggles cone squiggles back squiggles cone squiggles back squiggles cone squiggles back squiggles cone squiggles back isn't this very easy so squiggles cone and one more here and also one here all right so we made few of the leaf there's one that's remaining on here let's make two lines like that let's make a U a U a line and a big U so these are the acorns okay so the acorns are connected like this so this is a tree there are the leaves and these are the acorns okay so if this is a tree let's make a squirrel here so let's measure the height of the squirrel let's make the face so with very gentle hands make a circle now make a 
line and make the face like that just a curve a line and a curve and from here one more curve so now the face shape will be like this okay this is the face now make a circle on the top and let's make the squirrel eyes like this let's make the ear so two teardrop erase the inside so this is our squirrels the squirrels face is a little up it's basically looking at the acorns now let's make the body so do it like this from here make a curve and then like this like a s half s okay and from here make another half s okay make the shape very proper like this and now let's from the bottom go a little front and curve down so this is the feet now let's make the hands for the hands make two lines and curve the first down and connect it like this okay so this is the hand of the squirrel so let me just make the hand a little up like this so these are one hand this is the big body but here we forgot to make the tail so the tail is big let's make a s let's make the s here so this is the tail and now what is he doing so let me just make the paws a little small let's make an acorn so make a line make a u make a bottom u and this so this squirrel is holding an acorn and let's make two acorn caps so i made two circles one two these are the acorn caps so squirrel has a small face and a big body as compared to the uh, face so our squirrel is now ready so this is the squirrel face ears nose eyes the hands the feet and the tail is that fine for you all to draw i hope you are able to draw this much now let's quickly go ahead and get our colors ready so i have my tissue paper my watercolor let me grab a paint brush and my water is ready here all right so let's begin by making the color on the leaf so wet your brush and now uh we can do browns reds oranges and uh, a little of green because it's still drying up right so let's begin by the orange color first so the first leaf i am doing orange so i wet my brush i directly scribbled some paint and i drew my first leaf let's also make the second leaf okay the second leaf now i'm cleaning my brush i'm taking a little of brown i just want to spread some brown here okay now let's do the second leaf for the second leaf i have taken a little of yellow and 
and at the bottom I will mix in some clean the brush mix in some more orange so I'm mixing two colors here okay you can do as you like uh, let's do some light brown it became very brown let me just mix in a little of orange clean up the brush loaded orange yeah perfect okay orange let's do some more orange here and cleaning up the brush some browns Oh, we also need to do some reds. I really like the pop of red. So, some red. Some red here. Let me make some green as well. So, chicken green. So, some leaves are yet to turn orange. Okay, so mixture of colors and our autumn leaf are now done. Now let's make the acorn color. For the acorn, I am taking some brown and let's do the bottom brown as well. Later with the black pen, we will go ahead and do the designs of the inside. So with brown we have done the acorn, both the acorns. Let's do the acorns for the squirrel as well. So here and here. Easy? Now let's do the trees. For the trees it's a large space so let me take the big brush and with the big brush let's go ahead and let's pick up some brown so from the center I'm taking my brush like this again a little color like this a little color like this Take a little more paint and let's drag the entire thing down to make our tree. Okay, so the tree is done. Now let's go ahead and make some dirt for the dirt. I am just taking the same brown, mixing it with a little of dark brown and making some dirt. Now kids tell me what color is the squirrel? The squirrel is a mixture of green and brown. So I have my green here, I'm just mixing some brown here. So this is my squirrel color. So. For coloring the squirrel, I will first wet the squirrel. So, sorry. Yeah, so I will first take some wet brush and just clean up the squirrel. Not clean, but wet the squirrel like that. Squirrel's hand, squirrel's feet and squirrel's tail. So the squirrel is completely wet. I did not wet the face, just the body. And as it's still wet, let me just grab my brown and quickly from the center, push the color out. Okay. It's very wet right now. So I'm just trying to push the color outside okay. 
and now let it dry. Okay, so the squirrel is done, let it dry. Now, let's do the face. So I have cleaned up my brush. So with the blank brush, I am just touch the bottom of the neck and just spreading it like that. So it's a very light brown. And now let's wait until this is dark. So here, there was a drop of color that fell. So I'm just trying to make this again. So kids see our brown tree is now ready and our coloring part is almost done. Okay now let's make some falling leaf. For that, I have taken a small brush. So I've taken a small brush and uh, let's take some red and some orange and just make some leaf shape. As if these are falling off. All right, let's make one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. All right, so the leaves are falling off. Let it get dry now. And once it is dry, we will then go ahead and with the black marker, Go ahead and mark the entire thing or outline the entire thing. Okay, so let's come back just once it is dry. Until then, let me make some rocks. For that, let me just take a very dark brown or take some black and just make some gravels like that. Just random designs. All right, guys, so this is almost done. Let me see if it is dry. No, it is still wet. All right, so let's sit for some time and then we will come back to go ahead and outline the entire thing, okay? All right, kids, so this is dry. Let's quickly go ahead and outline the entire thing black. So here is my pen. Let me just turn the book around and let's start with the leaf. Okay, the leaf is done. Let's also do the acorns. Let's make the design of the acorns like that, the top part. Have you seen an acorn from Nia? It has got few netted design on the top. Next time you go for a walk and see an acorn, just look at it very carefully. You'll find these designs. Now let's make the other leaf. Squirrel 
acorns love to eat acorns so they just break it open and then eat them so this is the branch let's make the leaf here make one more so just very carefully outline each leaf with your black pen or a black marker but make sure this is the thin marker that you have okay All right, so the, the leaves are almost done. Just make one more here. There's one here too. And last, it's here. All right, so the leaf are done. Let's make the trunk of the tree. Okay, this is done. We'll make some squiggles here to make the design onto the tree. But before that, let's quickly do our squirrel. So for that, go like that. Make the first ear. Do the little nose. Do the mouth. Here is the eyes, color the insides, leaving a little white space like this. And now do the body and the tail. The so squirrel has big tail right so you have seen them it there are so many next to our apartment so yes this is the squirrel hand and the squirrel belly and the squirrel feet okay now let's do the acorn here Let's do the design. Let's make the squirrel hand. And let's make two square two acorn caps. Just the top part, the caps. Looks like the bottom is eaten up by the squirrel. Just the tops are left, which is not edible this cannot be eaten okay so the only the bottom can be ripped apart and get the seeds there is a little seed inside it which they love so that is what they open up and eat so that is been eaten so these are just the top and let's make the ground like that little stones and our painting is done let us quickly take some brush and some brown again and let's make some lines on the tree. The wood is almost this shape, right? So if you want, just do it like me. Alright, so our painting for today is done. So it's a beautiful autumn painting we did today of a squirrel, of a hungry squirrel eating an acorn. So kids, I hope these leaves were very easy for you all to make 
and the squirrel as well if you have any questions let me know and do submit your drawing on time so that i can put it as a feature on to the next session okay on our next class so thank you very much for visiting my classes have a lovely day guys bye bye so kids i just forgot that we need to write our name at the very bottom and make this painting ours by simply going ahead and let me just take this out Right, the painting is now ready. I hope yours turned out this good as well. Do send me the submission soon. I'll be waiting. Take care. Bye bye. So, parents and kids, thank you very much for watching. Kindly subscribe, hit the bell icon, and do visit my Facebook and Instagram and connect with me over there. And guys, do not forget to check out the playlist for the kids for the other 18 tutorials that's already been uploaded. So, thank you very much. Y'all have a lovely day ahead.